Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. There's Porter over here at uh, Black Van Circle, which is just directly across the street from uh, Children's Hospital, 300 Longwood Ave. Apparently, they found a suspicious package up there, and they got um, several square blocks kind of quartered off. No parents allowed to enter the hospital if they already exit the hospital. Um, they diverted most ambulance to come in from the Benny Street side rather than the Longwood Ave side. Uh, as far as we know, they're still investigating a suspicious package up there. So, see what they got going on. A lot of parents are kind of worried because they went out to get something to eat to come back to visit their uh, loved ones and they're not allowed back into the hospital. And um, they're not getting as much details as they would like to get. I've got some local media over here as well. I think that's, let's see what we got. They only gonna let you get so far, so I just wanna show you what they have on this side anyway. They got Longwood Ave blocked off to, uh, what's that, Louis Ave Pasture, and going up towards Benny Street as well, so all that's blocked off. Just want to give you an idea what they have. Just to play devil's advocate, I may ask somebody, like, what's going on and see what they say. See if they claim they know or they don't know. So, you know, a couple, couple of news media outlets out here. Let's see if I can ask somebody in authority that may that should know the answer. Hey, what's up, my man? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? What's happening, man? We, we, get, we gotta stop. We gotta stop meeting like this, man. I was I was downtown Boston when I got this call. <laughs> I was on another whole different message. You was in Lynn? I hear you, man. You gotta do it. The security over there. Um, so they're still trying to identify what they have. I believe they're waiting for the EOD team to respond. See if I can get a better. Sh Not much else to see down there other than what's in front of us, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So, so is it actually at the main entrance, like right up there where they say it's at? I don't know. That's, that's the right court door. You were leaving that entrance all afternoon. Yeah. But that's what, I don't know. Maybe the information is not as clear as it could be. Yeah. Walk over here. Give you an idea what they got cornered off. They got the garage actually blocked off too. So cars can exit, but they can't enter. Uh, so th these are some of the parents that. Uh, actually, he's another parent. You, they, they won't allow you back in the hospital, huh? Eh? Did they tell you why? Yeah. That's allegedly what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, they made you come from back over there. You were guys were over there, right? Yeah, at first. Yeah. Right. Right. Wow. Interesting. I wonder how credible this this this, this is though too. Came up for a cigarette and all this yeah, I heard a lot of parents are not allowed back into the hospital because of that. I know, I know I'm, I'm, you're verifying what I heard, so it speaks for itself. Um, and this happened about, what, a half an hour ago? Yeah, roughly. Roughly half an hour? How, many, how long ago? Half an hour ago? In, in between? 
A little, little bit longer? Okay, yeah. 45 minutes, 45 minutes now. So we'll say around 9 o'clock, a little bit a little after 9. Interesting. Yeah. You might be right. It might have been a little earlier than that. So that, it's almost an hour passed by and they haven't gave any uh, details of what's really going on. I noticed they diverted the ambulance too. The ambulance got to go on the other side of the hospital. The rescue pulled up on the cop when he pulled up first. I was up on the roof. Uh huh. The rescue and the cop pulled up. Okay. He took someone on the left and then all the rest of these cops pulled up after. Gotcha. Yeah, at one point they, were they weren't allowing any ambulance to come to the hospital at all. Then they finally started letting some of the ambulance come back to the hospital because they realized the condition of some of the people coming to the hospital, that they couldn't divert all those people to other hospitals. So there's a lot going on that. Oh, really? Wow. Wow. So right now there's no parent on her bedside. My mother's up there. Oh, your mother's up there. Okay, cool. Unfortunately, this had to happen, though. That's, that's unfortunate. They come out for a secret. Well, a lot of some people weren't even being told what happened. That was the bad part about it. So I got I got a call because someone was confused and they didn't know what to do. So I said, let me check out and see how organized this really is. It didn't seem like any hospital representative came up to talk to you guys. No one came out yet, and you would think the hospital would have somebody on site on staff to come out and tell you guys what's going on. Have anybody came out from the hospital as a rep? No representative. That's a good question. Why are they allowed to stay up there and you guys have to come over here? We were up there first, and now you gotta keep going. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, because if, if they can stay in there, you guys should be able to stay in there too. What makes you different from them? You know, there, there are people up there, which you can clearly see. I know, I know they usually do that when the media gets here, because they don't want the media to focus on things like that. But, you know... Whatever did happen, happened in the circle. Yeah. So that's where the rescue was the first police officer. Right. But Interesting. I couldn't see from the yeah. Traffic stop, Clinton. Gotcha. Three, Harry, Kilo, Kilo, two, five, about four in the car. Take one so, but even if the Boston police don't have a hospital representative, <laughs> them themselves should have a representative to speak to you. Because it's their, it's their scene. So, they supersede what the hospital's going to say anyway. So, one of them should come over and tell you exactly what's going on. I mean, I mean they got... Right. But the thing is, if they want transparency, they got to tell you what's going on. They can't say, well, we don't know. We don't, I mean, that's not, that's not fair for you guys. Because what if you've seen something that could be attention to them? You might say, this is what you're looking for. It's over here. Right. And the way the cars were racing down the street, you thought someone was getting killed. Which is... Yeah, it came out to be a whole different thing. Yeah, so now you see the scene they have here now. They got, you know, cars, cars cannot enter the garage. They can only exit the garage. And they have all kind of... Uh, hopefully they have somebody come over and tell you guys what's going on and how, how soon you can go back inside the hospital. Interesting, though. Fire alarms answered. No, five, 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 five. no I, I have a YouTube channel, so what I do, I go around the city and I document what I see in the city. So this I found to be a newsworthy, so I figured let me come down and cover some of this over here because, you know, a bomb scare at a hospital is, is something concerning, especially when parents weren't being told what's going on and they weren't allowed back to the hospital yeah well my thing is this they, they, they were i don't know but i'm only going by what i was told parents were on that plaza area right there and they were told to get off that plaza and come over here does that sound right yeah okay because i wasn't here when it happened but i'm only trusting that what people told me was correct and you saying it and other people saying it it has to be true. Right at the corner right there, and they told you to come over this way. Ah, I got you. Right. Yeah, so that's interesting how they get people up there, though, and you have to stay over here. That's interesting, though. 
All right, I'm, I'm going to walk around and see what I see. And uh, Delta hopefully they send a representative to talk to you because that's what they should be doing. That should be their main priority. Can I get an eye number, please? They have to have a, a charge nurse or someone in charge of the hospital while the other officials are not here that's capable of Zero, making that kind of statement. If five, not, that's eight, not good nine. for the hospital. They don't have... Thank you. Oh, put my YouTube channel in there? Sure. Just type in um, external affairs portal. So E X T E R N A L. The commercial arm for the core power yoga at 36. E X T E R N A L. Entry exit door. Space affairs. A F F A I R S. Space again, they put Porter. Porter? Porter. P P O R T E R. That's it right there. So you click on that one. Um, that's me right there. External affairs Porter. Yeah. So you, you'll see this on later on this afternoon. I upload it pretty much as is. I'm just going to put it on there as, as I see it. I don't, I don't do any editing. I might do some pausing in between, but I don't really do a lot of editing. I try to keep it as natural as possible. Attention engine 3, cover station 3. Attention engine 3, cover station 3, 2147. You don't take a ride around the other side to get another angle. But I think that what they're waiting for is the EOD team to respond. And those are the guys that are supposed to identify packages and bring the bomb sniffing dogs and all that kind of stuff out. Are the dogs up there already? Or oh, they might be, they might already be here. They might just be checking. Well, that's the, yeah, that's the one. Then that's the, that's the truck. You're right. You, you describe the truck to the T. On the, on the right hand side. They're probably still over there. All right, I'll check it out and see what's going on. Uh, hopefully this thing just. Hopefully it gets resolved quicker than um, quicker than it should. You see a lot of people over here still not able to go inside the hospital. And nobody's um, giving them a solid answer. Have, have they told you exactly what's going on? No? So no? Nobody from the hospital came over and told you what's going on? No? Wow. They just told you get over here and don't, not, not, don't tell you nothing? Wow. That's not good. You would think the hospital has a good, better representation than that. So, like, several parents are not being told what's going on. They're just told they can't go into the hospital, which is not, which is definitely not good. That gentleman right there should be able to tell you. He's security. He should be able to tell you something. But they, they can't really talk about it. So he's, he's telling people they can't go in there. Take a quick ride around and see what we see. Uh, catch you guys on the other side. Give you another view of what's going on in the city of Boston. Matter of fact, I, I, I just keep it rolling. No, I, I might just, I might, um, I might pause it once I get to the corner. We'll see. Just want to give you an idea of the area that we're at. Because some people are not too familiar with this area, so they don't really know. Okay, I'm gonna pause it and I'll catch you guys on the other side right quick. This garage is saying it's closed due to maintenance, which is definitely not true. There's no representative telling them that they can't go in there and why they can't go in there. So, uh, take a walk over here and see. So you see what they got, what they have going on over here. This is Longwood Ave and uh, Binney Street, which kind of runs on the outskirts of the uh, hospital area, in between Dan and Fiverr and uh, Longwood. A lot of local media stays up on this side. 
Nobody's quite. You can disregard, we gotta go to cancel. So they got Longwood Ave and Brookline shut down. So no cars could come down Longwood from Brookline. Over here they have a lot of people just standing by. A lot of some people are parents, some people are still kind of curious of what's going on. No one's giving them exact answers except to me. So they're going to clear the scene. They found no wrongdoing, I guess. So it's like a bogus call. That's what it sounds like. And they get they get quite a few of those calls. So that's 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 not something out of the ordinary. Bravo 901, great job by all. I'll be out of here. It's open. Yes, it's open. It's officially open. I have it. Thank you. Nobody's allowed to go back in. Something worth reporting anyway, though. Just to let people know what took place in the city. Take a quick walk down and just to show you the aftermath of what took place. So what has a... So it turned out to be a, Well, I guess you call it a false alarm. Nothing, nothing too concerning. But you'd be surprised at how many um, threats like that they get in this area. Now, Thiessen gets them all the time. Havik gets them quite a few. Uh, Bring them a woman gets them. A lot of them are mostly depressed people, employees that used to work for the company and got fired. The list goes on and on. People were mad at doctors for what they believe is wrongful surgery and stuff like that. You know, it, it, you hear all the stories. I, I, I should know. I worked in the hospital field for over 20 years. I've seen a lot of that and I heard a lot of it. Bravo 
So these are the um, those are the EOD teams. Two service units just stand by here at the hospital um, until 11:45. To 11:45. Get the team over here. Got to get the image of the guys that work. Problem 454, you can take that up. Uh, That's uh, supervisor on duty. So now they can officially open up the uh, the hospital. So you can s this area was the area that they evacuated. This is the old Honeywell building. I don't know what they call it now, but when I worked there, it was called the Honeywell building. Hey, what's up, my man? How you doing? Working hard? What's going hey, what's up there? What's happening? Every once in a while, we gotta keep you guys on your toes and make sure you guys have a quick response in the city of Boston. So every, every, every once in a while, we're gonna put a fake call out, right? Just to get you guys to see how fast you guys could respond, all right? So but that's that's one of the fire drills. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if that was a phone call or if it was a package called in. I honestly, I don't even know. Four five one is a five four. No, you both were there. Could have been a. Um, could have been a phone call. I don't know if that. And uh, I guess they, I guess they allowed to go in, but. You have a cruiser blocking it, so no one's saying you can't go in. All right, so once again, um, it was an early. Uh, Allegia came in as a su suspicious package. I don't know all the details because I wasn't looking at all the uh, the details on it, but it came as a suspicious package. Not too sure of how suspicious the package was, but. I guess they investigated whatever that was and found it to be no wrongdoing. All right, guys, this is what we have so far. Fast response by Boston Police. They um, quickly quartered off the area. This is 300 Longwood Ave, for those of you who don't know where this is located. This is right here in what they call Roxbury. Some people call it Mission Hill, but I think this is technically still Roxbury. So, um, Boston Police, for the most part, are sending back most of the Red Sea response team. Who's he talking to me? Uh, he was talking to somebody. Else. He wasn't talking to me. Evening, sir. You know who you're talking to? You talk to somebody who knows the law. This is not hospital property, just so you know. This is not. Just, do, do you own that pole right there? Does that belong to the city of Boston or belong to this hospital? Sir, you're not allowed to record right here. Who says so? How, enforce that law and show me how you're going to enforce that law. Okay, I'm going to enforce that law. And I want you to enforce that law on public property. This, this, this is a to totally different video, but if you want to make it that video, you can go ahead and make it that one. We're not going to get those narratives done today. Now, like, just so you know, hospital property starts right at that, that entrance, right? Actually, it's right there, to be honest with you. That's where the hospital property starts. That's the illegal property line. And I used to work for Children's Hospital for over quite some time, so I know for sure that that's public property right where I'm standing at. So I don't know if she's making stuff up. Don't make stuff up like that. Like, I, I like people to tell the truth. Now, if they don't know, just say I don't know, but don't, don't try to enforce something that's not true. Now... This, this sidewalk here belongs to the city for 100%.
our tax paying dollars do even though the, the city of Boston allows them to get some kickbacks from shoveling the snow off the sidewalk but that doesn't mean they own the sidewalk now if I was to walk uh, theoretically past let's say this line right here that line if I was to walk past that you know what I mean technically you you we could we could debate on that we might be able to debate but yeah the light pole stinks, uh, speaks for itself light pole definitely speaks for itself I wouldn't go past the light pole I, I, I would call the light pole the property line just to play devil's advocate yeah, so on um, this young lady right here she's trying to get someone to move me off of um, public property and naturally if you're an auditor you hang around and see the result so now that she's trying to get someone to move me I gotta hang around and see what happens I can't just run away like Emma Gasset Press says we don't want to give them the idea that they're, they're chasing us away and we're doing something wrong so we gotta hang around and see what they say like local media is right here so you guys are on private property man you gotta get off man <laughs> somebody had the nerve one of the security guys had the nerve to tell me that I'm sitting on a hospital property standing right here. Really? Yeah, that's the, that's she, had, she had the audacity to tell me that. And I said, you know who you're talking to? You're talking to somebody who's very well versed in the law. So you can shine your camera up there, no problem. But she won't say nothing about a big camera like that. But she's going to say something about this little small camera right here. They, they do it, but it's intimidation tactic. That's what it is. But I, I won't let them intimidate me for that. And I got to hang around because... I don't want them to get the sense that they ran me away. So I, I gotta hang around to see what the, uh, if she's gonna come back and apologize or what she's gonna do. Because, like I said, we, we don't wanna get them the, the idea they ran us away. So this gentleman here got his camera zoomed all the way across the street, zoomed right in there. And this gentleman here is doing a interview. And there's a camera behind me as well, and a few others across the street. But um, we're not even gonna mention all that. We just want to see if she's going to stop me from single old me standing here with the camera recording. Uh, there's no law that you're violating by standing here recording. Some people try to throw HIPAA at you and HIPAA is totally, totally on the people who work for the hospital. HIPAA is something to do with healthcare, medical records and insurance. It has nothing to do with individuals recording in public. Now, if doctors and patients show to speak and show information in public they're violating the HIPAA law not not you if you could record it in plain sight that's not you violating the HIPAA law because you're not HIPAA qualified or, or HIPAA trained so just so you know that's how that works too so a lot of people try try to throw HIPAA out there and how HIPAA got started was um, in the early 90s I believe it was there was a doctor talking to another doctor in a common area about a patient that ironically had a, a, um, a loved one that was not too far away and they were they were given certain diagnosis of the patient without even informing the, the, um, the patient about that and that's how that hip, whole HIPAA law got started if I'm not mistaken and, um, that happened in the early 80s no actually early 90s I'm, I'm mistaken I think it was early 90s I could be wrong but I think it was early 90s when that came out and that, that was a big thing that became a lawsuit I believe because they they violate the trust of the uh, of the hospital. So um, a, a, as you see, then no one came out to move me. So I guess I I I could probably head up out of here. If there's a young lady being interviewed over here, I might be scared to see what they're talking about. If there's, if there's anything of any news.
how old is your kid? He's three. Three, oh, yeah, that must have been. Really had no idea. Mid flight just took off. So a lot of uh, a lot of local media just hanging around. I'm hanging around for a little bit. To uh, still got the bomb squad hanging around. Like I said, I'm not too sure how credible that that threat was or is, but um, it had to be enough that they called the uh, the team out. So once again, this is what we have. Allegedly there was a bomb threat or some kind of threat that we sp um, that got this kind of response. I'm not too sure if it was a, a phone call or if it was an actual package they found. That, that's what they're not making clear. But they are saying there was a, a threat. I guess they checked out the area. They didn't find anything. And um, more likely, like I'm saying, probably was a disgruntled employee or parent that was just upset over something it happens more often than you uh, think but this to show you what took place down here so right now the area is clear so you never think this what happened like maybe 20 minutes ago it's all cleared up they're gonna have one officer standing here to um, midnight still have the uh, one of the members of the EOD team still here and other than that um, I think everything is fine as you see the uh, no one came back down here so I guess I did what I had to do and I sometimes like people always say um, some people leave comments in my videos like why are you being um, mean to someone and I don't think I was mean to that woman. If I was, I apologize. But I, I, I was kind of polite. I, th I think I was polite. I, I wasn't calling her names. I wasn't cussing at her. I wasn't swearing at her. I just told her that, you know, you cannot enforce that, basically. And really, you cannot, you know. If it was, if it was an enforceable law, which we all know it's not, it's the ambulance is coming in the, uh, coming in the wrong direction, actually. That's not even the ambulance bay. I'm not too sure what's going on there. The ambulance bay is on the other side. Maybe got their bearings mixed up. These are out of state ambulance, so they they usually get confused a lot. So it can happen. Sometimes they come out as far as like other states. So now he's going to the correct ambulance bay off of Benny Street. Yeah, he's got he's got a little mix up on the um, location, which can happen. I don't know if there's any signs that thoroughly say, uh, maybe they're not. I don't know if they are. Are there signs directing you to the ambulance bay? I don't, I don't think they are. Uh, that's probably why. I don't see any physical signs that direct you to the ambulance bay. But they should have a sign saying ambulance entrance in the rear or something like that. A point to the other side. So right now, um, just pe people walk it as normal. So I think she's upset about something. I'm not too sure what she's upset about, but um. Looks like everything's back as normal now. Everything seems. Now, no, I'm not going to say that. I, I'm not going to say that kind of stuff. I was going to say something about. Um, now nah, I leave that comment out of it because that's that's something that only I should know something about that. that nobody else will know that.
<laughs> Alright guys, so we're headed out of here. We're in front of the uh, Boston Children's Hospital. Right here on 300 Longwood Ave. And maybe an hour ago, they got a, a possible, well, a, well, alleged phone call of a possible bomb threat. We'll leave it at that. Alleged phone call of a possible bomb threat. And they just notified all the proper authorities and they acted on that. Right now, everything's back to normal. It um, doesn't seem like there's anything of major concern. And that's about it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And there's Porter.